Boeing offers more than just T-7 Red Hawk to the Philippine government in November 2021. It was reported that Boeing was offering its T-7 Red Hawk to the Philippine government. However, it seems that this was not the only offer made by the company to the Philippines. It has been said that Boeing has also re-offered its RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missile system for the three Del Pilar-class frigates, which were originally Hamilton-class cutters of the United States Coast Guard. While in service with the U.S. Coast Guard, some Hamilton-class vessels were fitted with Harpoon anti-ship missiles, including the U.S. CGS Mellon, the Morgenthau, and the U.S. CGS Hamilton, which is currently known as the BRP Gregorio Del Pilar PF-15, the lead ship of the Del Pilar-class frigates. According to the information provided, the quantity of the offered Harpoon missiles is enough to arm the three Del Pilar-class ships with the said missile system. However, it is not clear which variant of the Harpoon missile is being offered. It is hoped that it will be the newer Block 2 variant, as its sales were already approved by the United States government in June 2021 as part of the sales of the F-16 Block 7070 seconds. However, it is also possible that the offered missiles could be the older variant taken from existing United States Navy stocks, with the Del Pilar class being upgraded with modern sensors and combat management systems, these ships are more capable of deploying missile systems like the Harpoon. For those wondering why the SSM-700 0K Sea Star anti-ship missile is not installed on those Del Pilar class ships. The same as what the Rizal class frigates are using. The answer is that since the Del Pilar class frigates are from the United States, installation of a third-party system acquired from another country will require approval from the United States government. Therefore, U.S.-made weapons will be given priority on those ships, as well as on those transferred Cyclone class vessels from the United States. The same applies to any excess defense articles acquired from any country country, not only the United States, but any country that sells or donates equipment. The Harpoon missile also has its land attack variant, the SLAM or standoff land attack missile, which could be useful for hitting land targets within the range of this missile system. However, this offer will depend on whether the Philippine Navy decides to keep the ship in its current designation as a patrol frigate or change it to the same category as the Rizal class. If the decision is made to further upgrade the Del Pilar class weapon systems, it is believed that it will be on par with the Rizal class frigates and will have additional weapons systems such as an anti-ship missile system, a short-range air defense, a torpedo launching system, and a close-in weapon system. If given the opportunity to upgrade the ship's weapon systems, the Del Pilar class is capable of using the MK-22 rail-type guided missile launching system. While the MK-22 belongs to an older missile launching system, its magazines can house a variety of missiles from harpoon to long-range air defense missiles, like standard missiles, to rocket launch torpedoes. This system will give flexibility to the Del Pilar class frigates. It was also reported in September 2021 that a rail-type guided missile launching system was offered to the Philippine government. However, it is believed that the offer was revised, as a tube-launched launching system is more economical for the Philippines to acquire.